Here's how to mail merge information from a spreadsheet onto labels in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to start by showing you the spreadsheet that I have in Excel. Um, it has headers for student last name, first name, their ID, their grade, um, PM bus route, address, and their teacher name. Now, once I've got that all completed and I've got all the information that I need, I can just close that out. I want to make sure that it's saved um, someplace handy like your desktop so that you can access it quickly later. So you can see mine is saved on the desktop here. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word um, and we're going to go ahead and create the labels. Um, and I'm just going to go straight into where it says mailings here on the mailings tab. And I'm going to click start mail merge. And I want to create labels. If you wanted to do letters or email or whatever else, you can do that. But today we're going through labels. So here I'm clicking on labels. And it's going to bring up a whole um, bunch of different label formats. Um, mine is Avery, um, and you can choose a different one if you want, but mine is Avery. And then the number that I'm using is 8464. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find that. There it is, 8464. And I'm going to hit OK. Now that's going to pull up some blank label labels um, for me to input my information on. So what I want to do is I want to select recipients. Um, and I'm going to use an existing list. This is where we connect our Word document to our Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find the spreadsheet that I have saved there named bus labels. I'm going to tell it the first row of data contains column headers and that's OK. So I check that box and click OK. And you'll see that I've got one blank ready to go and then the rest of them say next record. Um, that's so it advances to the next record on your spreadsheet. So um, right here all I do is I click insert merge field and I want it to have the student first name and then a space so I hit the space bar and then I'm gonna hit insert merge field again and I want to put their last name um, I'm doing a hard return by clicking enter to go to the next line then I'm gonna insert merge field again I want it to actually I want it to stay, say student ID so I'm typing that in and then I'm gonna add insert merge field field for their ID number and then I want it to say teacher so I'm typing that in and then I'm going to insert um, the teacher last name and the grade. Um, so I'm typing and then I'm inserting whichever merge fields I want to be populated there. And then most importantly, um, afternoon bus and insert merge field and I'm selecting the PM bus number and then I'm um, going down to the next line and their address. So insert merge field and choose address. Now the, your formatting, however you have things formatted here on your label is how they will um, populate um, if I hit preview. So if I hit preview right now, since I only have those merge fields in that one um, uh, label, um, nothing else is populated anywhere else. So if I click preview uh, results again, it takes me back so that I can edit how I want things to appear. So I'm going to select both of those and go to home tab and make them bold and make them much larger. I can center them if I want or change the color if I want. Um, student ID, I want to make those bold, teacher, I'm going to make the word teacher anyway bold just so it kind of stands out um, as I scan the label. Um, I want to make this afternoon bus. That's important information. So I'm going to make it really, really big. And I want the bus number to be red. So I'm highlighting um, that field that, that we inserted. And I'm changing it to red and making it bold. And then I think the address should be big too. So I'm just making that um, nice and big. And you can um, format things however you want, add a picture, whatever. Um, then once you have that formatted, again, if I go back to mailings and I click on preview, that's going to show me my first record um, and, and however it is that I want it. I can see the line for address is kind of funny. So what I want to do, I'm going to click preview results again to go back so that I can edit. And I'm going to add a hard return there um, so that the address starts on its own line. 
if that makes sense. And I just want to make sure, okay, now I've got that perfect. Okay, and I can even add, you know, more space or whatever um, you want to add. So once I have that formatted, I just take it all and I'm going to copy it um, either by right clicking and hitting copy, or if you want to do control C, you can. Then underneath where it says next record on each of my labels, I'm just going to paste in so I can right click and hit paste if I want, or you can do control V on your keyboard. So I have to have that where it says next record, next record, next record, and then you're pasting all that in. Then if I hit preview results, you can see exactly what's going to be printed uh, when you print things out. And if I'm all finished, I can click finish and merge. What this is going to do is it's going to create its own individual document if I want that I can save. Um, it's not going to be a live document. At that point, it's not uh, connected any longer to my spreadsheet. So any changes I make in my spreadsheet, once I I, um, actually complete the mail merge they're not going to show up so I want to show you this is two documents so here's my um, separate um, not connected to the spreadsheet uh, group of labels that I can print that was just made and here is my mail merge document and you can see I can still click on that preview in the mailings tab to go back and make changes to my format if I want and every time I hit finish and merge and edit individual documents it's opening opening up a whole new um, a whole new Word document that I can then print or save however I want. Um, so I'm ready to print. And that's how you make, uh, how you mail merge um, your bus labels or any other information onto labels. Have a great afternoon.